And three, two, one, boom. And we're back with another episode of Socratic Gamers. Yeah. After a hiatus. Oh, actually, uh, this episode is sponsored by Zen Real Clothing Co. Check out zenrealclothingco.com for awesome tees. Anyways, so we are back after a little bit of hiatus. I hit up um, Portugal, Greece, and Egypt. And we mm-hmm. are back better than ever. Um, so... I kind of feel like the the ancient exploration journey is over. So, like, what what I mean by that is like, I have been like studying this like ancient stuff for so long, and like philosophies and like like I, I kind of felt like there was like a giant mystery there, you know, that was to be solved. Right. And like, but you kind of already were on that, like that that path of like seeing it through nature documentaries and stuff and like seeing like the evolution of the human human species Mm -hmm. you know you showed me like that uh what was that out of africa the the journey you're talking about the incredible human journey yeah go check that out if you haven't seen it um bbc's the incredible human journey where they talk about how we like left africa and all that stuff but like so like there's that and then you were like you're studying like animal stuff and like evolution Mm -hmm. and then like cultures you know different religions different ways people like live their lives throughout the world you know right so like you were already like on to this conclusion but like i i'm more like i guess experiential like i need to see it firsthand because i felt like there was like some disconnect still Mm -hmm. you know and like seeing it firsthand was like um solidifying what i had been assuming for so long which is it's all it's all been done before you know (laughs) and and like we we think we're so evolved as species but really we're not Mm -hmm. you know like our our tendencies are all the same but the medium changes so like if you think evolved as a species means like okay we have all this technology it's like well that'll be forever you know you'll always have technology right you know but like in terms of a human species we're we're exhibiting the exact same Mm -hmm. traits as always you know okay but i i feel like it it's like we were talking about this yesterday about like the art right about the evolution of um the the evolution of like how things come about Mm-hmm. You know, so for, for one, like, um, the pyramids, right? So I, I didn't tell you this yesterday, but the original pyramids were uh, clay. They're made out of uh, mud brick. Sorry, not clay. Mud brick, right? But that didn't last very very long, right? Yeah. So the first one to come up with um, using limestone, uh, he's the guy that made the step pyramid, mm-hmm. right? So you already see the evolution there. Yeah. Where it's like, you go from mud brick, and then the guy's like, okay... Um, we need one that'll last forever. So he creates one that's out of limestone, mm-hmm. right? But it's like a step pyramid. It's not like a, a true, uh, they call it a true pyramid. So then from that one, you get the person that tried to make another pyramid, but like a real pyramid, and he messed up. And then he like abandoned that one, and they <laughs> call it the bent pyramid. But then the one that he corrected on is called the red pyramid. So it's like, But they're right beside each other, right? Right. And then from there, you get, like, the Great Pyramids. But in totality, there's, like, 149 pyramids across Egypt. Yeah. So it, yeah. It, it's, like, it's not it's not uncommon. It's just the reason why people are so impressed by, like, the Great Pyramid is because it's so massive. Yeah. Like, it really is actually so massive, mm-hmm. right? Um, it's, like, the size of, like, a skyscraper, and it's, like, nine acres in area. Yeah. So okay. that, that's, that's pretty gigantic, yeah, right? Yeah. Um, but... So what is a pyramid? A pyramid is... Uh, so, okay, since the beginning of time, we've always been afraid of dying, mm-hmm. right? The very first story was, like, the Sumerian text with, like, Gilgamesh. Mm-hmm. And, like, Gilgamesh is, like, his whole mission is, like, he's going to overcome death for his people by, like, searching it out, right? Right. So then after that, you get the the uh, Egyptians, which is the, the next oldest, or mm, Hinduism, I guess, the Vedic texts. I'm not too sure, like, the, the timeline there. Yeah, I mean, these are all old. That's all we They're, they're old. They're <laughs> yeah. super old. Um, but so, like, the Egyptians, the whole mummification process is... So their, their belief is that when you die, 
um, you need to be identified in the next world, right? Yeah. So that's why they create statues of okay. themselves. All right. Because if you have a statue, then when you die, your soul, like your soul, when it's going towards like. So okay, in Christianity they have this thing called like purgatory, mm-hmm. and then they meet uh, Saint Simon at the gates or something, yeah. and then there he's like weighing good versus evil. Mm-hmm. Okay, that's that's exactly that's like Egyptians. The same thing. Yeah, yeah, that's that's Egyptians. So they believe that when you die, your your soul gets weighed, and then like yeah. if you're good, you go to heaven. If you die, you go to hell. Right. It's it's the exact same thing. Yeah. Right. Oh, very. That's almost the same thing. That, that, that's like exactly the same thing. So it's like weighing it like to a flower or no to a feather or something like that. Or yeah, like some, yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, a pound or to a feather. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I know what you're saying. I know what you're yeah, saying. Yeah, yeah. Um, but yeah, so there you go. Like you can already see the evolution. It's like Egyptians mm. definitely influenced Christianity, right? Because like the lore is the exact same, mm. right? Mm-hmm. Um, another one is that they believed in mono, uh, polytheistic. So this is what this is my theory that we're going from a polytheistic viewpoint which is multiple gods, to monotheistic, we create one god. Yeah. Because in Egypt, that's what happened. They believed in multiple gods, like Ra and all this. Yeah. And then, like, then another king was like, actually, there's only one god, mm-hmm. which is, like, me. Well, but, okay. But then he's like, oh, but then later it's like, I'm actually the son of God, not actually God, which is, again, Jesus. Yeah. Right? I'm the son of God. <laughs> you see it again. And then I believe that, we go towards secularism, mm-hmm. which is like the U.S. was built on secularism. Like, yeah. the, we're not going to, we're going to separate God and state. Yeah. You know, and then you get, I believe atheism is the final destination where you realize there is no God mm-hmm. except the God that you create yourself. Right. Right. And yeah. I, I think that's where we're progressing to. Like the realization. As a society? As a society or like, because cause Buddha, um, not Buddha, sorry, uh, Einstein said that uh, Buddhism is the religion of the future, mm-hmm. but simply not not like the whole like worshiping Buddha, yeah, but yeah, the whole yeah, like yeah, yeah. realizing it's all in your head. Right. He he was a step of the game. He was a step ahead of the game. Mm-hmm. Um, Einstein, because he knew where he was headed. Yeah. You know, he's like mm-hmm. the ultimate realization is that you're creating your own reality. Mm. So now we rewind all the way back to the ancient Egyptians, and it's like so. Our biggest fear is dying. So they try and come up with these like ways to overcome death, but ultimately you're creating figments of your own imagination to quell your insecurity in the present moment. Right. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Okay. So, so you know that you ever see the thing where it's like the head of a um, human and the body of a bird. Mm-hmm. So the, all right. So that is so this kind of artwork is called therianthrope, where it's like half human, half animal. And mm-hmm. it's like a representation of like concepts or ideas or properties that you want to imbue uh, the human with, right? right? So that's what a sphinx is. It's like the body of a lion because you want to be powerful, mm-hmm. but you want the head of a man because you want to be wise. So the thing about the bird is that's the representation of the soul, right? Because when they die, your bird, your your soul flies free like a bird, mm-hmm. right? And like it carries your face because it's your soul. Right. Right? See, like, when you break it down into these things and, like, you ask the right questions, it's not mystical at all. It's like it makes complete sense when they're saying all this. But, like, it's Mm -hmm. weird how as a species what we'll do in, like, contemporary society is if we don't know how something works, we create, like, a magical story behind it. Yeah, yeah. You know? So, like, for the pyramids, for example, it's like when people are like, oh, my God, the pyramids, like, how did they build them? They must have some ancient technology. Yeah, they do have ancient technology, but it's not aliens. Like, you saw the evolution of it. It's like there's 149 of them. Right. They made mistakes before, and then they just they just created one that's, like, epic. Yeah, yeah right? trial and error, right? Trial and error. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, totally, totally. And, like, mathematics, so we don't really know how it's done, but, like, mm-hmm. the architecture is sound. Right. You know? And, like, and they just build upon what they have. So what is a pyramid? A pyramid... Oh, wait, hold on. Let's go back to mummification. So the reason why you also mummify yourself is so that your you, you try and keep your body as preserved as possible again so that when you face, yeah. you're not unknown, mm-hmm. right? I guess that also goes with Egyptians because remember when, like, um, in Troy... Oh, sorry, not Egyptians, the Greeks, because in Troy, remember he, like, he like cut out his eyes, he deformed his face, and he's like, oh, now... The river sticks. The 
River Styx man, the fairy man of the River Styx won't know who you are. Right. Yeah. yeah, yeah you'll yeah, be stuck yeah, in yeah. purgatory. Right. So it's, again, there you go. You see the sim- similar like concepts being played out. Mm. You know, but that's what I mean. It's like human humans are just like playing out the same human conundrums over and over. It's just the medium changes. Like, what year is it that changes? What technology we have that changes? But at the end of the day, it's like we're exhibiting the same human characteristics all the time. <laughs> yeah, 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 you know what I mean? Yeah, right. Yeah. So okay, so what is a pyramid? A pyramid is the afterlife home. So when you die. They bury your body inside the pyramid mm-hmm. because they believe you wake up inside the pyramid and that pyramid becomes your house. That's why they were so grand and that's why they're so beautiful oh. inside with all your treasures. Interesting. So people would, would bury like, they'd have like their dogs in there with them. They'd have like boats. They found a boat inside the pyramid. But it's like all the things that you want to take into the afterlife with you. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. See what I'm saying? Yeah. It's like, dude, it's, we do that with coffins though. You like leave things inside yeah. the coffin, you know. This is like a whole mansion for them. It, it's lit- that is literally it, and and so I was laughing because I'm like, oh, the Great Pyramid is big dicks, uh, small dick syndrome, you know, like you buy a Ferrari and mm. then you're like, oh, I'm gonna overcompensate. So that king was just like, I'm gonna create the most massive <laughs> pyramid. Nobody yeah. can mess with it. Right. You know what I mean? Because he he made one for himself, his son and his like wives or something like that. His like nephew, I can't remember. But like he made a, he made three of them consecutively, and he's like, nobody's gonna mess with my dynasty. You know, I'm gonna have the best pyramid when I when I die. Mm. Yeah, and like when you look at the architecture, so so now this this brings about um, this brings about um, Graham Hancock's. We've seen like his talks and stuff. Yeah, and like he he advocated heavily for like an ancient civilization that was there, and it's so undeniable because like. In Peru, the same architecture is there as the pyramids because, like, the way it's built. Uh, granted, the one in Peru is more advanced, but of course it's gonna be more advanced because it was built at a later time. Right. You know, but like the way it's built is the exact same. Where it's like the the pieces are fit so snugly together that mm. like, um, like it, it's weird that they thought. No, it's not weird, but like contemporary science believes that. Um, the people of old weren't smart. Yeah, yeah. Right? Yeah. So they think like, oh, they have so many flaws. Yeah. But when you look at something as intricately designed as the pyramids or like the things in Peru, you're like, well, they couldn't have built it. It must have been aliens because they weren't that smart. But it's like, no, obviously they were smart. Like the evidence is there. Yeah, but who's saying, not only people are contemporary, people are not saying it's aliens though. No, 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 no right. But, but they're saying they didn't have that knowledge back then. So then we create stories. So they're like, how could they have built that? They're just using like wood. They don't know how to cut things. No, I don't. Well, contemporary science can't say that because they're. I don't. Th- I think they're saying that they 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 had some technology. They had some technology, but they they can't fathom them creating something so massive. I don't. I don't think it's like that. I just don't. I don't think it's like that. I, no, no. That that's that's what I've that that's like when you look into it. No, 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 no. I understand that. I'm saying I don't. I don't think it's. In the general sense, like that, because then you can see they're not saying it's aliens. No, 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 no. Wait, hold on. Yeah, exactly. Okay, that's what rewind. I'm so they don't know how it's done. So then we create a story for something we don't know, right? That that's the human nature. If yeah. Okay. All the unknowns we create yeah. like figments. Mm-hmm. So it's like people like jump on this, and you have all these like books about like ancient aliens and like you know right the yeah. secrets of the pyramids, yeah. and it's like, dude, no. Well, yeah, I mean, those things are not supposed to be taken seriously, but when you add them on History Channel, yeah, that's the problem. That's what I'm saying, yeah, yeah, yeah. exactly. But contemporarily, they, uh, it's like in the scientific field, they don't think like that, but that's, totally. but that's the issue with this is, yeah, people go into that kind of thinking when you promote these kinds of uh uh, of things on mainstream, I guess. Yeah. Exactly. Exactly. Yeah. So right. that's what I mean, Western propaganda. So I went there yeah. and like, the the lady was just. But I always viewed that as a, as a propaganda. No, as comedic. As comedic. Totally, but like as because a kid, I think I, I think it's because really, we well no, I, I didn't know okay I was like, well because oh, I, I there. right right because I saw it too. It was, that's, that's why I was on a deep search for it because I was like, there, what is going on? Oh, like you hear about like right, chakras right. and you hear about like all this ancient knowledge and you're like, dude, like mm. what is it? But then when you look into it, it's like. It's not as grand as, like, people make it seem. Like, it's funny because, like, so Terry always made the joke to our tour guide, like, oh, it's aliens, right? And she'd, like, laugh, and she's like, 
the tour guide's like, no, it's not. And then when you see it firsthand, you're like, yeah. oh, it's not alien. Like, this is not out of the realm of possibility. Yeah. Like, me seeing it, it's like, yeah, I can see how they'd make this. Mm-hmm. I couldn't make it myself, but it's like, compared to a computer, this is nothing. Right. You know, like, I have no idea how, like, circuits work or, like, whatever. Like, like today's technology seems more like magic than yesterday's yeah, technology. Yeah, of course. You know what I mean? Because, yeah. like, the olden time pyramids, it looks like you just put a bunch of blocks together, bro. Yeah. But that's what it was. But you that's just put the, a bunch of blocks together. Yeah, yeah. yeah. But that, that would make sense in the evolutionary way, right? It, exactly, exactly. <laughs> so, so the, um, I mean, we do that kind of, we kind of did that as kids, right? Like, totally, exactly. Yeah. Like, in, in, like Legos, Lego blocks, right? That's what I'm saying, exactly. So, like, we've moved on from blocks to something else. <laughs> exactly, exactly, exactly. And, like, um, and so uh, Richard Dawkins was saying that, like, if you saw, like, these cameras in these rooms... You you'd be like, oh my god, it's magical. Yeah. But you, if you if you know your way back, it's yeah. it's just it's obviously it's gonna come about mm-hmm. because of everything that's happened. Yeah. So it's like, why are all religions the same? Because if you look at the origins of it, it's like it makes sense. It's like yeah. followed a sequential order. Why is atheism probably gonna be the like people are gonna wake up to atheism because like if you follow the sequence of events, like you go from trying to escape your mind. Then using your mind to escape your mind, and then like realizing there is no mind, and then realizing you're just creating your your life yourself. Mm-hmm. You know, it's like if you just follow the logical flow, you'll get to the answers that are real. Right. You know. And so anyway, so Western propaganda, hilarious. She was like laughing about how like um, the tour guide mm-hmm. about how like um, people think that Cleopatra was from the ancient Egyptian era. So, so, fun fact, the ancient Egyptians were actually black. Like, not all of them, I guess, but, like, a majority of them. When you look at the statues, you're like, how could this not be black? You right. know? Even the way they looked. They the looked, yeah, yeah. yeah. And they painted them black as well. And then, like, she was saying, like, oh, historians believe that, like, they, they're, they're hypothesizing on two things. Either they came from the mud, mud era or they were just black. And I'm like, looking at their facial features, I'm pretty sure they're black. Right. You know? Mm-hmm. So so then like so then I got asked, like, well, how come they look different now? They're like light skinned, et cetera, et cetera. And it's like because Egypt went through four different periods, four major periods, right? Yeah. Um first the ancient Egyptian period, that started when the unification of upper and lower Egypt happened, because before then they were just tribes. Yeah. And then they became one giant tribe, mm-hmm. right? So then that was ancient Egypt. And that's when the pyramids got built. From there, Alexander the Great came in and he, like, liberated the Egyptians from, like, their slave not slavery, but, like, their oppression. Because, like, a different colony came in and, like, oppressed them, like, ruled over them. And they, they actually welcomed Alexander the Great because they saw him as a liberator, Okay. Right? Right. And so Alexander the Great, he's like, I'm going to let you guys keep your your way of life. Like, I don't want to... Like, you can either rule by fear, you know? Mm-hmm. You can either have a mosaic or a melting pot, right? right? So, like, a melting pot would be like, you're going to be like me, right? But, yeah. but Alexander the Great chose a mosaic, which is like, you guys can be yourselves. I'll let you be whatever you want. Mm-hmm. You just have to subjugate yourself under me. Yeah. yeah right? Yeah. So that's why you still have like so that's why Cleopatra, who is actually Egyptian, oh sorry sorry sorry, who is actually Greek, wore the Egyptian garb mm-hmm. because she like that that's their culture at the time. Yeah, you know, right. And she was she was also the last uh, king of Egypt. Queen? No king, because they don't have queens. Oh. Yeah, rulers are all kings. So there was a lady. Oh okay okay. Th- there was a lady who like. So that's not a gender thing? No, it's just a... Uh, th- there is queens. They do have queens, but the oh. queens are second to the king. Right, right, right. But you can but be it's, a king. Uh, okay, I see, I see. A, I see. a woman can be a king. Okay. So there was, there was a lady who... Um, she's like famous for in the ancient Egyptian, ancient Egyptian time mm-hmm. for being a king, but she was a woman. So all of her statues, even though she was a woman, she portray, portrayed herself as a man. Okay. So like okay. all the signifiers of men, which is like left foot forward... Uh, painting yourself in red instead of like yellow because women were painted in yellow men were painted in red Mm -hmm. yeah so all these things um but they also had groups of kings they didn't just have one king right it's like that's also fascinating like uh it's 
I, it makes sense. I mean, like even with, uh, like the way Greek was ruled, it had like a democracy kind of style. Like it's similar mm. in that way with kings. You know, it's a right. mixture of both. Right. Oh yeah, true. I mean, there's this, there's always there's different uh, methods of ruling. Of ruling. Yeah, totally. totally. So it's not just one way, or we only think of it. That's okay. It's monarch or like a different type, like communist or democracy. But there's like, there's always mixes of things, right? Right, right, right. Yeah, totally. Yeah. That's um, what we that's what we don't look into, right? We kind of forget those sort of things. Yeah, to, exactly. You're, you're like, why do we have a why do we have the type of governing system we have now? Because it was there in the past. Mm-hmm. That that's that's the, what the true mystery was for me. It's like, why do we have the things we have today? And it's like, if you just look into history, you'll figure it out. Like, yeah. <laughs> like, why do we have a governing body the way we do? Why do we have a president and not a king? Why do we have like, um, you know? Like, like everything, it's just like, yeah. because everything is based off of what previously happened. Right. Nothing comes into fruition spontaneously. Mm. That's also why I don't believe in, I believe in fate. Because like, if an action has a consequence, then fate must be real. Right. Okay. But so, anyways. Um, so then after the Greco-Roman era, which is like Alexander the Great, then the Christians came. And... Um, this is interesting because it wasn't in the cath- cath- Catholicism. It's not in the Catholic <laughs> Bible. I was yeah. trying to say, like, what, how do you say that? Um, uh, so, like, in the Catholic Bible, you um, we didn't know that Jesus fled to Egypt. Right. But in their, in their story, like, he it, fled to Egypt. Mm. So he visited where they lived, like, married Jesus and Joseph when Jesus was a baby. Um Although that's kind of fascinating because, like, he, he disappeared at 12 years old. I don't know. Whatever. It's hard to, like, put it all together because, like, Catholics don't believe in that and, like, Egyptians don't believe in the Catholic thing, you know. It's just stories. You yeah, know? yeah, yeah. So it's like... so like him f- going to India or... Exactly, exactly. exactly. Like, so oh, okay. so they, fled to, they, fl- they fled to Egypt. Um, and then, yeah, like, people just started believing in Catholicism because mm-hmm. they saw him as a prophet. Yeah. Um, but that was also like the. But remember, like in the, I said in the Bible, that it seemed like propaganda because, like, in the book of Ezekiel, it's like they've already escaped the Holy Land, right? And then um, they decide to come back and take over Egypt. So then mm-hmm. her being like, "Oh, the Coptic era, which is the Christian era, and they took over Egypt," and I'm like, "Oh, so that was real to some degree." Then I asked about Moses and. And the tour guide was like, uh, Moses could have been the son of one of the kings. Okay. So like right, they, right, they actually, right. they don't think he, there was, so there was never any slave oppression. So, all right. So let's rewind. Um, the Jews weren't around during the pyramid creation era. Mm-hmm. Cause like in, in media, it's like the Jews are the ones creating the pyramids. That's not true. The, no slave has ever touched a pyramid. Why? Because it costs so much money. <laughs> so it's like you need only experts building your pyramids. Right. And it's funny because like so so when a king comes into power, um, they're like um, – they're like <laughs> – it's funny because I'm like jumping all over the place because it's like so much happened. Yeah. But uh, so when a king comes into power, the first thing they do is like they set a budget for their pyramid, their afterlife home. Right. Because they know they're going to die. And – mummification they set a budget for that right so that's why you can have like amazing sarcophaguses and like some with Mm -hmm. not so great ones but it's just like so it was like a big industry like like death was a big industry for money right propagated by belief Mm -hmm. so at the end of the day it's just like belief and commerce build societies you know it's like, oh, you want a spectacular home? Well, I, we can upgrade you for an extra two thousand dollars <laughs> on a giant pyramid. You know, what I mean, like, yeah. right? <laughs> that's what the talks would have been, you know. So, so pyramids were so, um, so intricately like so they, they were so important back then that people who died in the construction of the pyramids they had like a whole grave site next to the pyramid, an ancient grave site. Okay, because like. It was an important thing. But mm-hmm. again, mm-hmm. Western media has like brainwashed us into thinking that they made slaves do it. But it's like, no, they would never touch it. Right. Yeah. You because know? they weren't skilled workers. Mm-hmm. Um, yeah. Which, yeah, fascinating. Um, what else? The 
another Western media cause. Oh, this is a big one. So like Muslim culture. All right, this I I was saving this one for you. So like, you know what's inside the 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 Mecca? Inside of it? Yeah. Uh, I've seen things. Okay, but what what is what is like what is your assumption of it? What's inside? Yeah. Uh, I can't remember right now. Okay, so if you can, maybe it'll jog my memory when you say I, it. I thought I thought it was a meteor. Oh no! No, you didn't know that. You didn't think that. Uh, I've heard that. Yeah, I've heard that too. That they're praying yeah, towards a meteor. I've heard a meteor that. came from the sky, yeah. and they're they're praying towards an asteroid, yeah. and that's why we go. So I was telling the person this, the tour guide. She's Muslim, and she's laughing. She's like, "No, it's 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 the home of God. So inside that thing is just a mosque." In that black box, it's yeah. just an empty space where you can pray. But there's a room inside there that... That thing. But you can go that in nobody, No, 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 no. There's a room inside that's hidden. There's a room. It's, okay, but is you that can, true? But is that true? No, no, no I've seen the images. Okay. Because you're not supposed to take pictures of it, but people have. Okay. And uh, so... But what, what's inside the room? What's inside the mysterious room? I don't know. It could be just gold. It could be. I'm not saying it's anything else. I'm it's not like an asteroid? Uh, no, I don't or, think anyone or said maybe, that. Or maybe it's just that's the room of God. Because she said she said that, like, um, I forgot who the thing, I think Abraham or something. Like, But, like, some people can go in it, I think. No, they can go in it. Yeah. That's what she said. It's like, yeah. no, you're supposed to go in it and pray oh. in it. Oh, okay. Like, yeah, yeah. It's, it's, it's a prayer. Cause but it's, you're not supposed to take pictures of it. It's God's home. Yeah. Right? Like, I was, I think, uh, uh, I don't know where I saw it. But, like, yeah, I saw those pictures of inside the thing oh okay. i was comparing it with something else because there was another to make sure that these pictures are real oh i see yeah, yeah but but still it's like it's like there's nothing like no no no. but there was a room there was like... no no yeah nothing inside that's crazy but like I, there was a room that is closed off all right so a small room okay so whatever maybe that maybe that's like or god's... it's like a closet space i don't know <laughs> maybe that's like god's room yeah could you be. know like there's like we reserve one space for god right, right. you know something like that but it's like she was like laughing. Yeah. It's like this is so preposterous. Like, why would we pray to a meteor? And I was like, I don't know. That's that's what I heard. Well, I mean, things again. We know about how stories change, right? Like, totally. But that's what I'm saying. Like Western yeah. propaganda. But she wouldn't know that either, right? What Maybe that's what it is inside the. Cl- again, I don't want to add those things in. But I'm just wait, wait, saying. Like, what do you mean? Like she wouldn't know that either? No, I mean like if you believe in this way, like why would they say there's a meteor in there? I don't get it. It wouldn't make sense to say that. That there's a meteor. Yeah. Yeah, but but I'm I'm taking her word for it. Like she's no, like, I know, no, no, I know. Like I'm not saying that. I'm not saying that. Of it. No, she I know. Lives I know. It. Yeah. yeah, but then it's also like, uh, like uh, what if there is a meteor in there? But that's like saying or what if no, there no, are no, no. Like it was based on why it was put there, like a long time ago. Maybe it changed the meaning of it differently over time. Or or maybe it was just propaganda, like oh, that how, how they how they oh, yeah, put yeah. slaves. Building the pyramids, yeah, yeah, yeah. and they're like, "What? This is not real." Or like saying, "Like aliens created mm-hmm. the pyramids," and you see, and you're like, "No, just it's yeah. not." It's right, pretty right. Basic. I'm just saying. I, I don't want to. Just, just you know. Again, yeah, 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 yeah. I don't know. <laughs> but I'll add so, that. so, okay, okay. so if you actually want to see something very impressive, I think, and nobody ever talks about it, go to Cambodia. Because those yeah. temples are huge, mm-hmm. and everything is so intricately made. But it's just because they've they figured out how they do it or they believe they had that technology at the time that's why it's not such a controversy right you know but it th- those those temples are way more impressive than the pyramids yeah you know but it makes sense right but it's like way 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 further down the line you know but it makes sense right wait what do you mean like evolution wise and no that's what i mean yeah how way you bring down the line yeah the the knowledge the over and knowledge then you of advance the, the knowledge. Yeah, 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 totally, totally. Like I would, I would say that's more impressive and like more alien like built than. But it's not alien like built. Like, but p- p- humans have been doing crazy things like this all around the world. Like, if you oh, go yeah. to Meteora, there's like on the side of these limestone mountains are these these um, churches, and it's like how the frig did they build these churches there? Mm-hmm. And they're just like, no, they just believed in God so much that they they abolished their fear of heights. Right. And I was like, what? That's it? Like, yeah, they just climbed it. They just brought it stone by stone and they built the thing. Yeah. You know, like there's no magic. No. You know? <laughs> but we like to think that there's magic because we don't understand how it's built. So we 
decide like, oh, it's sort of like a Wim Hof. Like you're like, oh, he's magical because he can withstand the cold. And it's like, mm-hmm. no, he's just using this technique. Like right. unless science val- validates it or like verifies how he's doing it, it's like we think he's a magician, you know? Mm. Like David Blaine, he could be like a demon, but like <laughs> him explaining how he's doing his magic trick, it's like that we don't think it's preposterous. Right, right. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. yeah it's yeah. just when the mind doesn't understand something, that's when it'll fill in a ridiculous story. Mm-hmm. You know? Yeah. yeah. Um, so also very interesting note. Women have more rights in Muslim cultures than men do. Uh, okay, in which way? So Let's explain that. All right, so so there when you get married to a woman, you have to like you you create like um with her dad like a pact like I'm going to buy this for her and like provide this amount of money mm-hmm. right so there's that there's a one second. Uh, she gets to create her own contract before marriage. Yeah. So she gets to write all the things that she wants to do. So she's, she's like, I want a job. I don't want to have too many kids. I want this. I want that. Like, you can write them all down. Mm-hmm. Um, I think it's like divorcing is okay there. And it's easier if the woman initiates the divorce. Mm-hmm. Um, the, the reason why they cover up is not um, not because of, like, property, but it's because of, like, you should fall in love with the person's mind and not their body. So, like, that's what... Like, so the the only thing that they, they wear to show that they're Muslim is the hijab. Everything else is, like, additional. So you can wear the niqab, you can wear, like, the whole yeah. robe, but our, our tour guide only wore the hijab. And she's like, well, in, in our religion, it says to hide your hair. So that's the one thing because like, like you want to yeah. hide the attractive features of yourself so that you don't, um, you don't like draw the wrong attention. Mm-hmm. You don't want somebody to fall in love with you for the wrong reasons. Yeah, yeah, yeah. freaking fascinating, right? Uh, if, yes, if, but if, that's just, again, yeah, that's fine. If if yeah. if the man says this word three times, yeah, yeah, I know about that. Oh, I was like, what? Um, the women, they. So if you don't know about it, so if the man says this word three times, they automatically get a divorce. Yeah. Um, if, oh, the women are not allowed, they're, the women are allowed to work, but the man can never ask how much she makes and she gets her own bank account. Mm-hmm. And if she chooses not to work, her primary duty is to take care of their children. The man has to provide everything that they need. Yeah. So it's like, okay, we, we need this house, you gotta go get it. We need this, you gotta do it, you know? Mm-hmm. There's no, like, onus on the woman to do any of that, except her only duty is to be a good mother to the child. Right. It's, like, fascinating, because it's, like, like, the stereotypical preconception of, like, ownership, you know? And, like, you are my property, and, like, all that stuff. It's, like, no, they, they have, like, more... More I think it depends this, depends on they, which they version of that you you follow, right? So, so I was asking about them. These are like universal things, but um, it it's the perception. Because so I was asking about. All right, so I brought up ISIS. I was like, I was like, okay. So what about these extremists? And mm. she's like, they're they're not actual Muslims. And she's like, it's so terrible because they're giving us a bad reputation yeah. because. They're using specifically chosen things yeah, exactly. in That's the wrong saying. way yeah, yeah, yeah. in order to propagate their violence. Uh, of course, yeah, they're misinterpreting it. They're, they're not misinterpreting. They might be misinterpreting, but they're taking it in order to justify something else. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. But they're ignoring all the other stuff that it's yeah. saying in order to do what they want to yeah, do. Yeah, exactly. You know? So it's it's like when you say like which version of it, it's like, yeah, but is that the pick and choose one where it's like about violence or is it about like like those the actual tenets of like peace, you know? Mm-hmm. So so what, like good, good example, you know how like um you know it's about like in, in like Muslim culture it's about like if they're your guest, yep. you 
you have to be nice to them, mm -hmm. right? So when you're going into like stores, not every store, but like this happened quite a few times, they offer you any drink you want. They're like, do you want Coke, coffee, tea? Right. And I was like, oh, is this free? You know, what is this? <laughs> and then they're like, no, it's you're our guest. So we must provide for you. Right. You know what I mean? Like, how can that culture be so like negative, you know? Through like media, because yeah. everyone like hates on them, but it's like their their whole culture is about peace. You know, if you want to talk about actual like negativity, you look at the Christians who did Christian crusades. You never hear about a Muslim crusade. Uh, but they did happen though. Muslim crusades. Yeah, there's slavery happening. Oh really? Like what? In Syria. Okay, but is that? Or, oh, sorry, Libya. Yeah, right, right, right. But is that because of Muslimness, or is that because of? the like societal cultural stuff in that area um like do they but like it is it is it because they're muslim they're like we get slaves or is it like we are in libya so we're gonna get slaves so there is a portion in it's it's the same thing as the bible right okay they, they would follow the same similar thing because it, because I watch a lot of the Hyde Park debates, so totally, totally, but and they explain it that way too. Right, right. But, but what I'm saying is, like, yeah. are you following it in terms of getting what you want, or are you following it in terms of the primary tenets of like peace and love? Like, cause, uh, cause so, so she's saying like it yeah, says it, it says thou shall not kill like yeah. so they're actually built off one another so it's a trilogy Judaism yeah. you should go listen to our other podcast about um, mm. the people of the book yeah so um, so like the primary tenets like thou shall not kill yeah. treat everyone as you want to be treated so it's like if you're doing that then where's the slavery and I also don't like where does it say like you can own a slave. Uh, these are in the hadiths, probably. But but is it but is it like said? Yeah, if it's if you when you win a war. Okay. Uh, uh, but it, but is the hadith even coming from Allah? Well, technically, in their point of view, yeah. These are yeah being passed down through the interpreter, which is Muhammad. Yeah. But what was that from Muhammad? Yeah, I, like I feel no, no, like... no that's from the, that's what they say. Okay, so so I, when you if you're a Muslim, you have to follow the both. Okay, so I I think I think the best way to like figure this out because <laughs> like because like yeah sure, but that's also from a Western perspective of like no, this is me high, from High Park. No, but High Park is in a European country, right? No, but I'm listening to Muslims. Right, but but who yeah. are those Muslims? Like they're really good in what they're talking about. Like they know maybe this stuff. maybe, yeah. but like you could also say that about like Osama too. Yeah. No, no, no. But you they're not. I mean? No, no, like, no. But they're not. No, no. They're not putting it in a bad light. They're explaining it, what it's meaning. Yeah. Right. But I feel like it's open to interpretation. Oh, of course, all this is inter open to interpretation. Totally. Totally. And, yeah. But but that's what I'm saying. It's like, it's like, which way are you going to choose yeah. to take it? The peace and love route, or the I'm going to use it to get what I want route. But it's the same thing. Yeah. That's what I'm saying. It could be either way. Totally, totally. But yeah. but speaking to this person, I was like, oh yeah, yeah. Oh, I've yeah. never seen like. Oh, most people are of course not going to follow the crazy things. That's what I'm saying. Oh yeah, yeah. yeah. That's what I'm saying. Yeah, it's most like, people do not do that. So if ninety percent of the population is following the peace and love route, and yeah. we're focusing on the the I'm going to use this to get what I want route, yeah. then that's just Western propaganda, because it's like you're not focusing on the ninety; you're focusing on the ten. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. You know what I'm saying? Oh yeah. No, I agree with that. And and that's what shocked me. I was like. Like, I was like, I had no idea about this because I was coming mm. at it from a different perspective. I had read, I read the Quran and I was like, out of all the three books, I would say that this is, not only is it the newest, but it's the one I agree with the most because like what they're saying is you need to remember yeah. God's, God's like I mean, laws. even, even in, I mean, even in the way, that's, this is one thing I liked about it when, when I was learning about it, mm -hmm. of uh, like the history wise and then. Uh, the ones who kept literature, you know, who didn't burn the literature, who was Muslims who kept. Yes, the literature. there you go. Boom. And they're the ones who converted it, who wanted it like kind of like exactly. So, so those are the things that I, I liked about it. I was like, yeah, that's really good. That's what yes. we should be doing. Totally yeah. right. Exactly. Yeah. Exactly. So okay, there there you go. So it's like, so but actually, they were they were the 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 front. Uh, 
in in the world of you know uh doing like like new sciences and things like that oh yeah i heard that too yeah yeah, yeah. yeah. i mean but even even uh what's his name who uh neil degrasse tyson says that too right what like the min- Muslim countries were the ones leading in, in the maths it's, and things yeah. like that. See, so there you the go. In the modern time, yeah. There you go. So it's like we they're just getting a bad rap now because of like propaganda. Yeah. You know? I think it's a lot of this. No, no, that's very true. And a lot of this is, and with what's happening into their economy, it's all it's America's uh, getting involved and in, in yeah those issues happening for them. Yeah, from these Western countries that are doing that. Totally. Yeah. But but so what, what what's interesting is like, we're looking at this from like an atheistic yeah. point of view. Yeah. Cause I'm not saying like, I'm like, again, you go through <laughs> polytheism, which is like multiple gods, yeah. monotheism, which is this Muslim, this Christian, mm-hmm. this like Jewish thing. And then you go into like secularism, which is like nature, you know, like, and then you go into atheism where it's like, you're just observing it as people creating right. these belief structures, yeah. you know, mm-hmm. belief in economics. They, they run the world, you know? Yeah. And like, like, I'm, whatever you choose to believe is up to you. Yeah. But like, like, cause, cause I, I kind of feel like people, if you listen to it and they're like, Oh, you're defending it. You must be this. It's like, <laughs> no, you're just like, you got to look at it. As an atheist, yeah, you gotta be like, scientifically, what are we talking about here? Yeah. You know, we're talking about a bunch of people that don't realize one what they believe, or two where their beliefs came from. Mm-hmm. Like, did you know that it's a three-part trilogy? Yeah, exactly. you know what I mean. Like, yeah, yeah. did did you know that ancient Egyptians had a similar belief system as like Christians? Like, mm-hmm. you know. Speaking of which, uh, you know how we, like, you burn the bodies or you, like, bury them now? Who? Me. Uh, like, like, when people die. Yeah. And that, that's predominantly a Roman or Greek thing. Mm-hmm. Right? We, we, we do that now. So people are like, oh, why do we do that with our dead bodies? Well, fun fact, it's because we are derived from Rome and Greece. Right? So Greece actually tried to figure out how mummification was done. But they couldn't do it. It was too difficult, right? Yeah. So they just abandoned it, and they're like, we're just going to bury the bodies. We're just <laughs> going to skip the whole process of, like, wrapping you and, like, you know, right. taking your organs out in canopic jars. They just couldn't do it. Mm-hmm. But imagine if – because the Egyptians were like, we're not, we're not sharing this with you guys. Like, this is our trade secret. Because right. because it was such a high demand thing, like a lot of money was being spent on people. So like mm. nobles, so people think, oh yeah, only only kings could be mummified. No, it's if you had the money, you could mummify. Right. So people would mummify their dogs. They're like they'd mummify like their horses mm. that won in battle. Oh, interesting. Yeah, like they just, if you had the money, you'd spend the money. Yeah. It was a giant right. lucrative industry, right? Mummification. Mm-hmm. So they didn't want to share that with the Greeks. So the Greeks were like, all right, fine. We're just going to bury or burn our bodies. And that's why we do it today. Right. And imagine if the Egyptians had been like, okay, we'll show you how it's done. We, we still might have the industry of mummification. So when you die, do you want mummification? <laughs> do you want like burying or cremation? Right. You know what I'm saying? Like yeah. even, even the whole sarcophagus idea. So if you actually look at what a sarcophagus is, it's a Russian nesting doll. So in the center of the, the giant sarcophagus is, is the actual sarcophagus. Mm. And then as you unpeel the layers, it's one sarcophagus into another sarcophagus into another sarcophagus, right? Yeah. And the reason why, at least what I believe the reason to be is, is because they put hieroglyphics on the outside of these sarcophagus. Mm-hmm. And what those hieroglyphics are, are like spells to help like ease your passage into the next life so you just need like room to write spells bro so it's like that's why you're gonna make so many sarcophaguses right (laughs) but what is a sarcophagus it's a coffin right because then because we we saw like the the tomb of the greeks Mm -hmm. in alexandria and like how they were sharing the same spaces and they were trying to get this knowledge from the egyptians but the egyptians wouldn't hand it over so it's like a coffin is just a crappier version of a sarcophagus you know what I mean? Like, yeah, yeah, yeah. Really though, yeah. We just don't have the incantations on it. That's funny. 
right? Yeah. Believe in economics. Yeah. Hmm. Yeah, so I feel like personally, I know there's like so much more that like we could talk about, but uh, it's like, it's hard to pull on it in the moment. Like those, oh, yeah, I, covered, yeah, yeah, yeah. I covered all the main, the main things that I want to talk about. Mm-hmm. Oh, so like, oh, I found this about myself too. I thought this was kind of interesting, but like what is... So, all right, so I was like, wow, it's so interesting that I want to go around the world and, like, write about these ideas and share them with other people. Right. It's so unique of me, right? <laughs> it's not. Yeah. We went to Portugal, and Portugal is the main place of, like, port- the Portuguese were the number one people who, who expanded understanding of the entire world to the Western, Western civilization. It was them, because they're the ones who sent people all over, like, to mm-hmm. explore. But wasn't what is an explorer? A sp- an explorer is like somebody who goes and writes stuff down and like yeah. passes it back. Yeah. So it's like, even in me thinking, wow, this is very unique of me, I'm just doing another thing that is a common I think we talk about that though, right? Like, we're repeating. The- we're repeating. Yeah. That's, that's the insanity yeah. of it. Yeah. We're literally repeating everything we've ever done. Yeah. yeah. You know, there's, <laughs> no- there's literally nothing new. Technology is new. Actually, no, that's a lie. Technology is new. Yeah, technology is new. Yeah. The only thing that's new. But like in terms of like what a human being is, no. Our desires will never change. Our quest will never change. All that stuff. So have you ever heard of this thing called like um, samsara? Uh, I've heard the word. So samsara is like the continuous cycle of rebirth and death. Okay. Right? Um, and the idea is you want you keep reliving your life over and over in order to escape samsara, mm-hmm. right? Because you don't want to be reincarnated back in this world. Okay. So what some people believe is like the idea, well, Joe Rogan believes, um, the idea of samsara is actually this moment. Because like if you, in this life, like if you had to live your life an infinite amount of times, would you be okay with it? If you had to what? Live your life an infinite amount of times. All right. Right? Would you be okay with it? And if you are okay with it, you, you've just escaped samsara. Because what, cause samsara is the idea of birth and death. So what if you had to relive your life over and over again? Mm-hmm. Would you be cool with it? You know? Yeah. And like, if you do it right one time, then you can escape it. Which is like, basically saying no regrets. Yeah. Right? Right. You know what I mean? Like, because the only people that mm. feel a samsara pull is like, people that are like, oh, I wish I could just live my life differently. I wish I could live life over again. Mm-hmm. You know what I mean? It's like that's that's the secret right there. That's another one of those human things that we're like we want to feel fulfilled at the yeah. end of the day. We want to feel loved, feel fulfilled, mm-hmm. feel like we understand what's going on. Want right. a sense of adventure. You know what I mean? <laughs> like we, all of these things are all human characteristics that we've always been doing, mm. but the expression has always been different because the technology's been different. Right. Hmm. Yeah, yeah. You know, it's also mind blow. What? what really like messed me up? Didn't really mess me up, but it, like it always puts it into perspective every time I travel. Because like when I travel, like although I do like learning about different things and like going experience things, I also love to create like a routine where it's like I will always go to this coffee shop because I like to pretend like I'm living like that person. Mm-hmm. Like, what would I do in this area, right? Right. Like, I yeah, would go yeah. get coffee, I would go get breakfast, I would like create my patterns, right? Because mm. that's what it is. Like, what is living? Living is just creating a pattern that you just repeat daily. And then you're like, technically, I live there. You know, why is it, what's the difference between visiting a place and living in a place? Visiting a place is like you have no pattern. Living in a place means you have a pattern, right? You have a routine, yeah. right? right? So, what, what's a mind blow is at this very moment, people in Portugal are doing Portugal things. People in Egypt are doing Egyptian things. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We are in Canada doing Canadian things. Yeah. It's a freaking mind blow. We're living so independent from one another, and yet we are all so similar. Right. Mic drop. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Like yeah, that is that is the craziest revelation of all. That it's like we think we're so different, but we're just like everybody else. We are like the snow if if every snowflake is important mm. then there is no important snowflake right you know what i mean we've been repeating the same patterns throughout infinity yeah of course like 
humans tech so like it really does come down to those two things like what technology is at the time because technology is going to dictate how we express ourselves Mm -hmm. but at the end of the day the expression is always the same we all want the same things maslow's hierarchy of needs right right what did the kings want back in the day like why did they all like obsessively the ones who made the most money were the people that like invest like sold the pyramid to the king yep you know Mm -hmm. because like one king got like a great fortune sure but like if i can sell 20 pyramids to like 20 kings (laughs) a lot of money right you know what i mean like yeah and Mm. charge him an arm and leg for it yeah 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 so i don't know i don't know where this quest is gonna end up now but i'm kind of like I'm kind of like done with ancient stuff now. I, I feel like I get it. Like I'm just like, okay, I get what's going on here, guys. Right, right. We can move on. Yeah, I guess you needed to go to the epicenter of it to kind of. Totally, yeah. 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 Which is funny because it's like, as it, this is like so like mythological or like so analogous. Yeah. What I'm about to say. Is like so. I I always thought I was gonna die before I I saw any of this stuff, right? <laughs> I, especially the pyramids. I don't know, even leading up to it. I never told Tara, but I was like, I was like, I'm gonna die before I get to see the pyramids because <laughs> there's always gonna be that one little mystery mm-hmm. that I'll never solve in my life, and like I'll never get to see the pyramids and never get to understand all of it, the full tale. Yeah. But only to realize when I saw it, I did die, die to my old understanding because I was like, oh, I get it. F, you know what I mean? Mm-hmm. But I think that's why everyone says, like, we get reincarnated. Not everyone, but, like, I think that's why it's, like, we get reincarnated into every moment because we become enlightened in every moment, mm-hmm. you know? Yeah. Okay. There's a, lot of dis- there's a lot of illusion going on in the world, and propaganda is very real, especially talking to that Muslim woman. I was like, dude, we have it so backwards. Like, I thought we were getting the truth, and nothing but the truth but like you said like why would you put that ancient alien stuff on the history channel yeah make no sense <laughs> but that's what like leads to the propaganda so yeah. you think it's true right yeah i mean yeah i i, I yeah okay you know what I mean? Yeah, like, but they're also just trying to make money so they know this, well, what, this is what sells. economics man yeah. belief and economics yeah. yeah ancient alien sells so yeah, and, yeah, true. And so many I mean, books, uh, what so you just said, in. probably too boring. Oh, that's not going to sell. And the truth, <laughs> that's so, oh my God, that's so true. That is so true. <laughs> wow, that's so true. Exactly what you said is the, the truth of nature right there. It's like the reality is too boring. So we create <laughs> yeah. a figment to make it less boring. Yeah. But see, like, actually, that's so funny. I, I like, just mentioned it to this guy, but like... Um, in demystifying the mystical aspects of life Mm -hmm. you get to see the truly mystical aspects at work and those are actually amazing yeah because it's like right it's like you don't need the fictitious story just see how amazing this revelation is right now Mm -hmm. you know like no we're, we're just reliving the same stuff over and over we have the exact same human needs yeah that's a mind blow hmm but like when you hear it, people are like, oh yeah, that's true, yeah, yeah. But if you really understand it, you'll understand the mind blow, because it's like, why worry about anything? It's all going to be okay. You know why? Because other people are also worrying. Yeah. So if we're all worrying, like, what's what's the specialness in it? Then, mm. you know, it's like the snowflake. If we're all individual special snowflakes. There is no individual special snowflake. <laughs> yeah. Right. But we really want ourselves to be individual special snowflakes. Uh, yeah. I mean, yeah. Uh, there Again, there are reasons. I think we've talked about that before. So. Yeah. Yeah. Like why we build, why we do that as a human species. Because we feel insecure? Because we're afraid we're going to die? Yeah, but it's also to... to yeah, but it's to... To want us to live as oh, long t- as we can. Oh yeah, yeah true. It's just yeah, true. Yeah, just yeah. A, it's just an evolution thing. Just like 
Yeah. That the cells don't want to die, right? In a sense. Right, right, right. If you just think of it like that. So we make ourselves stand out. Yeah. Yeah. It's yeah. We 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 don't want to be insignificant. Yeah. It's just all we, in, we don't want to be forgotten. Yeah. Yeah. That's yeah. It's but, all... that, but see, even that, that's why he made such a damn big pyramid. <laughs> right? Yeah. And I was you know what's weird? I was sitting Yeah, that's true. We're still talking about him, so Right? Dude, I was I was sitting like all right, the tour guy didn't get this, but Tara got it. So like who would have thought like thousands and thousands of years in the future, your one creation would still be making waves. Mm-hmm. You know what I mean? Like, <laughs> that's he true. Was right? <laughs> He's not forgotten. No, He's I mean, like, like that's true. Yeah, bro. That's true, yeah. And that's you true. see how, like, how think, yeah. touristy it is? Oh, yeah. I'm sure he was like, this is going to make Egypt bomb. <laughs> like, bro, this is going to put Egypt on the map. Right. That's, that, well, actually, what I just said is probably what the marketer sold to the king. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And the king was like, yeah. hell yeah, it is. Yeah. And he's like, dude, you want to be remembered for eternity? We make this goddamn pyramid. <laughs> you know what I mean? Like, yeah. And wh- why is it 143 meters instead of 140 <laughs> meters? Because he sold him on the extra three. He's like, yo, 140? Uh, he's probably... 140. He's three, pro- bro. <laughs> he's probably walking uh, around the actual pyramid in his ghost form and seeing everyone... <laughs> if that's real yeah totally <laughs> true yo and then they're like they're like yo this pyramid will last forever you'll see everyone come to you but I was wondering like I wonder if they thought that at the time they're like this is going to be a global attraction that's sort of like what countries do today you know mm-hmm. they create amazing like Dubai let's create an amazing structure people will flock to it we'll get tourist money yeah Maybe. Yeah, I, I think so. I think it's like a method. It's a way to bring people in. Of course. Why else make it that big? Yeah, true. Yeah, Dude. true. Yeah, no, totally. Why else make it that big? Yeah. Other than like, it's you gra- want it's, a bomb house? It's meant to grab attention. It's meant to exactly. bring people in. He was narcissistic, <laughs> which is the exact same thing. Like, it, that's a generic human quality. Yeah. Yeah, they were not different. They're not different. <laughs> See, they're not different. Yeah, they're not different. Yeah. Like, yo, yeah. let's make this bomb diggity, bro. <laughs> and especially, I, mean, I like that. That's funny, yeah. Right? Yeah. When you look at it in that terms, yeah. it's yeah. like, but if you look at the reality of the situation, that's probably the conversation that happened. Like, yo, we got to make this, we got to make this dope pyramid, bro. <laughs> you know what I mean? I, I right? You know what I mean? And he's like, he's yeah. like, yo, can you make two more for my fam? All right, true, true. I'll give you a discount on this one. Now. You're right. And then, and then, what makes it even more funny is they built it on a giant hill already. So they're like, yo, strategic, bro. It's only 143. All right, but if we build it on this hill, it'll look even more massive than it is. <laughs> Because right. no matter where you are in Cairo, you can see this pyramid, mm-hmm. but only not because it's so tall, but because, well, it's so tall, yes, but it's also built on top of a giant mountain already. Yeah. Right, right. So, so it makes like, it already So it makes bigger. it even more big. When you're driving around freaking Cairo, you're like, what the hell is that thing? <laughs> that marketer, that marketer at the time was like. I think that's what it really taught me about. I think I'm going to jump back into marketing. Like, I'm going to, like, really study this again. Because, like, even though I went to school for it, but, like, going to But was it, a, like, like they got sold the idea? Or was it, like... A, I think they got sold the idea. 100%. Or was it, like, the priest thing? What do you mean? Like, the priest is the one telling him? No. Uh, no, everyone's doing it. When So, basically, when you become king, it's already assumed you're going to have your own pyramid. Okay. So it's like, obviously, oh, okay, this guy okay, was okay. like, yeah, I'm going to go off. Right. You know what I mean? Mm-hmm. He also wanted to upstage every, all the other kings. That's what that. I'm saying. Exactly. Yeah. That's what I'm saying. It's like, look at how bomb my house is. Right. And he didn't just make one. He made three. <laughs> you know? He's like, who's going to compete? Yeah. <laughs> when, when you look at it in those terms, in those selfish terms, it's less impressive. You know what I mean? Yeah, yeah, like, yeah, yeah, yeah. That's but, true. It's less impressive from a design standpoint, but it's more impressive that it's that ridiculous. Because that's probably what happened. Mm. Right? A hundred percent. He got sold. Yeah. I mean, yeah. yeah. It's that ego too, right? So. It's the, exactly. That's what I'm saying. Human, basic human tendencies. 
Yeah. There's a reason why Buddha didn't have a, a pyramid. Because he was like, yo, it's all in your head, bro. You don't need that pyramid. The pyramid is inside of you. Right. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> yeah. All right. So, yeah. We can get into so much more, like, but we'll we'll save those topics for, because of, like global economics is a great one. How we're talking about how like, like you want to move into countries that are developing. Right. Yeah, I think we'll get into that. Another. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Topic, I think, yeah. I think this There's is a so good, much this is a good spiritual. Yeah, yeah, totally. Yeah, mm-hmm. I learned a lot from this trip, but I, I would say that this was more of a spiritual podcast. So like, mm. this is like the disillusionment. What are you gonna call this one? What you're asking me? Yeah, what are we gonna call this one? Yeah, you, you can call it that. The spiritual disillusionment. Sure. <laughs> no, no, it's, it's so negative. But, um, I don't. I just view it as it's just a word, man. But or what about clickbait though? You know what I mean? So oh, clickbaity! Like, oh like, yeah, sure. The great pyramids of Giza. And people the like, truths, Damn. the truths. Oh, I <laughs> like that. <laughs> yo, the truths behind the great pyramids of Giza, yo. Yeah. No, no. But what's kind of like whack though is like I added my tour guide on Facebook, so oh. like she's gonna see this and be like, "What the hell?" Yeah, uh, that's all right. The truths behind the great pyramids yeah, of that's Giza. All right. Yeah. So if you make it all the way to the end of this podcast and you you got clickbaited into this, marketing matters, bro. <laughs> all right. Till next week. Yep. Same time, same bad channel. Peace. Uh, okay. Peace. Bye.